Welcome to DIYEasyCraftsAndBergKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make this Halloween themed cleaver. Now this knife was actually uh, done in conjunction with Mad Max custom knife handles. Joseph had contacted me and um, wanted to do a project and we came up with the, the Halloween themed blade. I took one of my uh, 1095 high carbon steel blanks, uh, he provided uh, the handles and I built I built the knife. So in this video, we're really just going to follow through on the entire build. Uh, this is going to be part one. This will bring you through um, the build up to the point where we mount the handles. As I said before, I started with one of my standard 1095 uh, high carbon steel blanks. This is actually one that I had laying around the shop. I had actually started it uh, for another project about a year ago and just never finished that. Um, I had ground bevels on the blank. But for this project, I really wanted a full flat grind uh, so that I could um, blade etch the entire surface of the blade. So I just went to my 2x72. This is a, a fairly coarse grit belt. I think I went with a 60 on a uh, 90 degree table. And I'm just using a, a piece of 1x2 as a push bar uh, just so I don't burn my fingers. And it's, it's not a long process or not a very difficult process to do a flat grind. I do the majority of the grinding uh, horizontally like this on that 90 degree table. And then I finish it off with a um, higher grit belt vertically. And I just grind until I get rid of all of the horizontal grind lines. And then I'll take it to whatever grit I want. Usually when I'm etching, I'd like it to be at least 120 grit uh, hopefully 240. In this case, I went for I went for the 240. So this is ready to etch. I've done a bunch of videos on electro etching. Um, I start the process. I actually cut out the design um, on a Silhouette Cameo uh, Craft vinyl cutting machine. I took that self adhesive vinyl and I put some transfer film, which is a clear contact paper. I actually use contact paper from the hardware store. Um, and I use that to position that design exactly where I want it on the blade. If you look real close on the upper left and right, I have little registration marks. That transfer film gets peeled off. And I know a lot of people do their, uh, their weeding prior to applying the, uh, the vinyl onto the blade. For fine detailed work, I really like to do the weeding or the removing of, uh, of the vinyl, exposing what areas I want to get etched. Uh, once it's attached to the steel blade. I then actually use a uh, you know, magnifying glass, one of those magnifying glasses that you wear on your head, uh, and a pair of, of real fine 90 degree uh, tweezers and a razor knife. You know, some of the small detailed stuff, you know, as you're peeling it, depending on how well uh, it's cut, how, how well you had the depth set on the vinyl cutting machine, uh, sometimes you, you need that razor knife just to hold down the small pieces. And everything here that's exposed now, it's what's going to be dark when I do the etching. So this is the design. It's a Halloween themed knife. It's got a, a skull coming out of the blade holding onto a uh, jack-o-lantern. Now I do electro etching. This is a 12 volt uh, automotive battery charger. It's set at two amps. I've got an electro plate, which is just a flat plate welded onto a piece of tubing as a handle. I've got a, uh, I use an electrolyte solution of white wine vinegar mixed with salt. And I etch for, in 20 second increments for a total of a minute. Um, then I cool it off in water and I, I repeat that process so that I etch for a total, in this case, of four to five minutes. I want a very, very deep etch. Because on high carbon steel, I like to do the etching prior to heat treating. And the reason for that is that the heat treating, the carbonization from the heat treating, really darkens uh, the inside of the etch. So the finished product is going to be um, a very dark etching. Uh, whereas if I did the etching after the heat treating, it wouldn't be as dark. So now I'm just uh, peeling away the vinyl after I've done my four or five minutes of, of etching on this side, I peel away all of the vinyl and then I'll just clean it up a little bit with some, uh, with some emery cloths just to see how the etching uh, came out. And 
and this this will give you the first indication of, of whether the project's going to be successful or not. And usually the key is whether you etch deep enough. You know, this etching has to survive uh, not only heat treating, but the post heat treat cleanup. So now I'm going to, I'm going to heat treat the blade. I'm going to put this, this is my, uh, my Devil Forge, the, the great, great propane forge. I've used this, used this for years, absolutely love it. I'm going to heat that blade up to critical temperature where it's non-magnetic. I'm going to try to keep the entire blade at the same color, which takes a little bit of effort. You got to move it back and forth. I only, I'm only using this with one burner on, and then it's quenched in oil. Now, after the heat treating, the blade itself will be very hard, uh, but also very brittle. Uh, so it does have to be tempered, and it's tempered in a uh, kitchen oven, uh, 390 degrees for two hours, and then letting it cool slowly overnight without opening the oven door. And I do two cycles of tempering. So this is the blade after heat treating. You can see that etching on the blade and now uh, kind of just rub it again. I think this is 400 grit paper that I'm using right now just to clean it up. And at this point, my, usually I would sand these things down until they're completely shiny, uh, you know, and, and use a, uh, a six or an 800 grit. Um, but in this case, because of the theme of this knife being a Halloween themed, uh, as I was cleaning it up, I said, you know what? I was actually talking to myself, I, you know, I'm going to leave some of this carbonization on the blade, you know, give it that kind of spooky look. So anyway, this is the end of part one. Uh, part two, I'm going to take these beautiful Halloween themed uh, knife handles that uh, Joseph from Mad Max uh, made up for us. These are a uh, form of paper micarta, and I'm going to attach them to this blade. Uh, I have a couple of images of the finished product, but please check back in a couple of days. I'll have the next video posted. Uh, that will show you the process of attaching and, and shaping the blade, um, the handles rather, as well as sharpening the blade to razor sharp. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I ask that you please take the time and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would absolutely love it if you left me some feedback. Um, I'd like to give you an invite to join us on our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. And if you're ever interested in making your own creation, your own knives, check out the book that Jason Northgard and I put out a couple years ago, called Introduction to Knife Making, and that can be found on Amazon.com. Thank you very much.